I'm with Ella Deal. Ella, very welcome to Babington Europe. Um, it's been a while since we've seen you, but we've got a chance here at the uh, European Championships to have a chat with you and talk to you about your life and uh, things that are going on with you at the moment. And the most important thing that has gone on for you recently is has been the birth of your daughter. Uh, how much of a change has that brought to your life? Well, first of all, I'm very happy to be here. It's great. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like I'm physically not yet fit, of mm -hmm. course, so it, it, that's not my yeah, top shape at the moment. But it's a lot of pleasure to be here, to feel this um, atmosphere, to see the people, and really I'm enjoying to be on court, even though, yeah, how I am at the moment. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when my daughter has been born, it's just, yeah, it's something else. It's different. It's, it's hard to describe how it feels, but... Um, yeah, suddenly one day the world is different yes. and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it so much and um, yeah, of course I'm hoping that yeah, yeah things settling now mm -hmm. and yeah, it's difficult maybe to explain how it is because I have so uh, many ideas in my mind mm -hmm. um, of what I want to do, uh, what's next and yeah, how life will look with her. Really, it's hard to explain. <laughs> I, I love when I ask you a question it's very the question can be very short but the answer always goes on forever uh, you're, you're an interviewer's uh, dream um, looking looking at badminton again and uh, obviously the arrival of Leah how how is it going to be possible or is it possible to mix both I'm a parent I know how it how how much time it takes with children but you're also a very experienced and professional athlete both in your mind and in your body how are you going to mix it and will you is it something you want to do yeah so at least i've started already mm -hmm. so i'm practicing yeah okay not that long but of course i'm doing my best and um yeah it's funny because um i realized when when we come to hall together with leah as um yeah, it's actually not a stress situation. Yeah. yeah, because that's our world. That's where we live. That's where we feel good. That's where we feel comfortable. That's, yeah, so, I mean, when I come to Hall, that's, yeah, my head is going up, yeah, so my shoulders straight, yeah, and that's something else. And I think she's feeling that. So when she's moving with us to Hall, and then, yeah, okay, maybe it's not that long that I can practice because yeah sometimes it's just not possible with her but and um, that's something else and she's i think she's feeling well there mm -hmm. okay. yeah. and um yeah i realized that um they are uh, also talking about being professional badminton player yeah so mm -hmm. um i think i've been quite good to doing my job professional yeah so i i've learned a lot of things and yeah now when i see leah growing uh, i think i'm implying already some things on that yeah, so, and I'm thinking, okay, so how can I do certain things in the best way to her, with her, yeah? And then I thought, yeah, I think I would do the same when I have to teach children badminton. Yes, okay. So I thought that that's absolutely interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's my um, experience, what I've done, what I lived myself, what I've learned. And yeah, I'm doing that with my child. So I've done myself, I'm doing with my child and I'm quite sure that I would be capable one day to, yeah, to pass it to the others. And yeah, that would be great. Hmm? In, in terms of your own badminton career, it's not so long ago, uh, uh, you I think at number 12 or 13 in the world, very short time ago, number nine. <laughs> well, from what I can remember. Yeah, been, and yeah. um, okay, very high up in the world rankings one of the top Europeans and uh, certainly the top Russian uh, with nobody really to compete against you in Russia where do you want to get back to what would you what would be satisfactory for Ella in the in the future badminton in your badminton career yeah I think I have uh, I can yeah I'm allowed to say that I achieved quite something so I achieved a lot yeah so um, yeah and it, it's I don't really want to, to say, okay, that's the point I want to go. Because, yeah, now I just want to, it's about um, being there where I like to be uh, and to doing that what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I just want to see where it will bring me. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, so it, it's not like I don't want to fix myself. Okay, that's the point. And then if I, okay, if not, then yeah. So it's just, yeah, it's about having a lot of fun. Um, of course, my daughter will be somehow maybe doing this way with me. And yeah, okay, when it's making no fun, maybe I will say, okay, I have to do something else. But till it's bringing fun to me and I enjoy it, I think I will just go on and I will see. With the arrival of Leah, do you think now that you want to give an awful lot of time back to the children? You know, you're living, you, you've, you live in Germany, do you want to spend a lot of time coaching children? I will see. So I, I cannot definitely say, okay, that will be... Um, mm -hmm. um, I will have a lot of fun to do that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, it will, it's something interesting for me. So I cannot say, yeah, okay, I will... Um, work in a talent scout project yeah, yeah. or I will work in under 13 it's something I have not yet yeah it, it's it's all like it, it's all s swimming yes, swimming yes, yeah yes, it's yes, all yes. swimming yeah and yeah I cannot uh, say exactly now okay I will do this or this but I have a wish and I have a lot of ideas and it's very interesting yeah? and definitely one day for sure I want to bring it back to children you know, uh, you, as we said, you live in Germany. I know you speak French very well. Yes, 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 you speak French very well. But you're, every time we see you, you've got Russia on your back and you're a proud Russian and you're from Russia. What's next in terms of Russian badminton? Um, is there many good juniors coming through? Can you see the next Ella deal anywhere coming up? Um, I think what's very important I see in Russian badminton is that um, also it's definitely developing it's um, they are trying to develop structure I think that's a very important point yeah it's not easy and it will not happen uh, just in a couple of days that, that you see result of these changes but um, I'm quite happy that they are working on it and they are um, yeah I, I've got quite some offers from from uh, Russian side as well um, yeah to to continue as a player uh, or as a coach or as a yeah so just to, to do they are very open I'm um, very I'm very happy that they appreciate it all what I've done and they see that um, yeah the potential of what I can give so but I wouldn't say that okay there is a girl or there is a boy but I'm very happy that it's moving on that they construct something and um, I think when they succeed to construct really the, the system there they will bring good players out you know just uh, an, an honest question to it to you is it a difficult choice for you Germany or Russia in terms of where you are in your life Russia is obviously very important to you your parents your family live there and uh, how difficult is it to mix and it's almost match both lives. Yeah, it's it, it's a hard question. I have to be honest because um, yeah, that that's my okay. On one hand, Russia is my um, yeah motherland, my country. Yeah, so I'm uh, I've been always fighting for yeah I've been always fighting for it. I uh, I did it with a lot of fun. Uh, I'm still doing. Yeah, it's a bit on a different level maybe, uh, but yeah. Still, it's it's something great, but um, I learned so much in Germany. Mm. On the other hand, I learned so much, and um, um, I got possibility there. So, and I used them very well. But um, yeah, it's been also great time there for me. So I'm actually what I've planned for this year. I wanted to make um, coaches education in Germany. Um, um, and I wanted to start actually with very um, base, uh, basic level. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, as a top player, I'm allowed to start, of course, on the very high level. But I just wanted to to get through, to get um, the understanding how the system is functioning there. The mentality mentality is different. So that's what I wanted to understand because I, th I think that's pretty much different. Yeah, yeah and that's interesting. And uh, I thought, yeah, I got also quite some offers from clubs where I can work with kids probably. And yeah, if there is something, definitely I think there they would be a day when I give it back. Yeah. Then I would do it with a lot of pleasure. Yeah. No? <laughs> Just, you know, as I said, we're here at the Europeans and you're back on court. 
How nervous was it? Was it really nerve-wracking for you to step back on that court today? No. No, no uh, it's, <laughs> um, it's, it's a different feeling. Did you feel uh, you, you came in at seconds at singles? Was there a lot of pressure removed? Because there used to be, or probably still is, an awful lot of expectation on your shoulders when you step on court for Russia. Was that a little bit removed because you were, you know, settled down into second singles? It's 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 a big question. Mm. It's a very big question because yeah, you're right. That's what I lived. I always had this kind of, I always had this kind of pressure on my shoulders. Yeah, okay. Yeah, doesn't matter how you feel, if you're fit or not, if you're ill, if yeah, whatever happens. Yeah, you're the number one. You have to carry it, and yeah, all the others just behind you. And when you start, it's just so important what you bring on court, how you start it. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Sometimes you lose the match, but you bring the yeah the attitude you go on with is, is just so important. And yeah, and today I knew that I'm at a different stage at the moment, and what I have to do is just to be very brave and to enjoy all what I'm doing, however it is today. Yes, it's pretty. It's pretty different, no? It's, it's a big, <laughs> sure. yeah. It's, it's a big question. It's hard to explain, but um, yeah, I hope that this is just um, for the girls. The, the case that I'm here is just bringing um, a kind of um, um, Sicherheit. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I hope it brings some confidence to okay, them. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's been always like they knew that they could count on me. Yeah, and yeah, so I hope it's, it's bringing a kind of that they feel, okay, it's safe, we are still together and we can do that and yeah. Okay. We started the conversation, and we'll call this a conversation, it's not an interview, because that's what it's turned out to be, a conversation. Uh, we started with Leah, and we'll end with Leah. What would you wish for her uh, in her life going forward? What, what, you know, what, what would you like to see her doing? Um, I would like to see my girl, mm -hmm. as my husband said, strong enough that she's capable to take decisions. Okay. That's it. A short but good answer. Uh, Ella, thank you for joining us and um, the very best of luck in everything you do in the future. And uh, we've seen we've seen Leah and she's an absolute little dote. And uh, I hope to God someday we see her on the courts. But thank you. We hope so. Thanks a lot. Thank